Hi guys, so I've had this pain in my foot since Monday and uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. So I've come to the walking centre, um, ironic ironically, um, to see what the problem is and he thinks that I may have fractured or broken a bone in my foot. So, um, you yeah, know, I'm off to the hospital now, to A&E. So guys, so, um, got back from the hospital, turns out it was uh, something called plantar fasciitis, which I've, I've had before. Um, it's basically just like the overstretching of tendons or something in the foot. So it looks like I'm gonna be in pain for the next couple of days. Um, just take it easy at the gym, no cardio, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it's gonna have to really like push it under weight and just reduce the calories down a little bit more, just to kind of try and like balance out that deficit. So guys, just a quick update for you today. It's Thursday today. Um, just want to give you a quick update on how the you know the the whole weight loss thing's going. So one of my biggest vices and hurdles um, to get over in losing weight is takeaway uh, meals, particularly chips. So that's one thing that I really need to start cutting down on. Uh, unfortunately, tonight for tea, I had chips. Um, I had a very relatively low calorie lunch. Um, so I actually had Subway, which I know is a lot of bread, a lot of carbs, but I uh, just had some salad on there. So, you know, just trying to keep the fat down. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on basically how I feel about how I feel after eating chips. Because I think that's something that a lot of people, when they're trying to lose weight or just when they eat a lot anyway, is something that they actually sort of do. So you'll eat a lot of food, right? And then, like, afterwards you'll feel guilty or you'll feel like you wish you had something else to eat or you feel maybe more determined to do better tomorrow. So I just kind of wanted to talk about how I feel afterwards. So the next time I do, think about eating chips or having a bad meal, I can look back at this and kind of dissuade myself from doing that. So I don't really feel guilty or anything like that. I don't really feel that negative about it. There are a million choices that I could have had to eat that's a lot better for me than what I did eat. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, yes, I went over my calories the other day. Okay, yeah, it wasn't very nutritional. And yes, it cost me money, but I don't think it's a complete failure. It just means that I'm not as close to reaching my goal as I could have been had I had something better for me. Because I think a lot of people do have cheat meals or cheat days where they eat a lot of food and they feel like they've kind of wrecked all the hard work that they've put into something. But that's not true. You know, yeah, it's a bit of a step back, but just move on from it. Next meal, make sure you know it's super low calorie, step up the cardio, step up the, the exercise, increase the calorie deficit as much as you can over the next few days, next week, and you, you'll kind of level out. Yeah, if anyone else out there is kind of having a, a cheat day or they've had a cheat meal, you know, don't feel too bad about it. Learn from it, move on from it, and just do better next time. Just another quick update for you on the, the foot pain from that I spoke a little bit about yesterday. Um, it's actually not that bad today. Um, typically when this has happened before, the, the pain gradually goes away and it's actually kind of really accelerated today. But I've taken a lot of painkillers and all day at my desk today, um, I've kind of been trying to stretch my foot out a little bit. So I think that's really, really helped. Because um, usually I kind of just avoid the pain and, and kind of walk really weird. Today I've tried to stretch out the muscle quite a bit. So that, that feels like it, it's helped a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to do that and, and hopefully the pain should be gone by, by the weekend and I can get back on to um, committing to the gym and, and, and going hard at that. So yeah, just a quick update for you on the uh, the foot pain. Um, I probably won't record anything tomorrow, so I guess I'll see you guys on Saturday.